Okay, we're going to do problem number two here. And once again, we're going to answer these questions about limits, if they exist, for a function a of x. And in order to, to do that, we will refer to the graph that is shown below. Okay, so let's see what we have. The limit, let's start off with a. The limit of a of x is x approaches negative three. Well, all right. This, as we can see at x equals negative three is a vertical asymptote. So I will say that in general, I'll say the limit doesn't exist, but um, we are also looking at infinite limits and there is an infinite limit here and the infinite limit is not a true limit, but it is an indication that the function becomes very large or, and very is just an adjective I use, but it, it, you can make it as big as you want. If I wanted to make the Y coordinate a billion, I could by choosing an input value for X that's close to negative three. And I see if I come from the, both the left and the right hand side, it keeps going up and up and that's infinity. And they, the limit of infinity as X approaches a number corresponds to a vertical asymptote. So I see vertical asymptote, that's gonna give me an infinite limit. Now at X equals two, there's another guy right here, X equals two. I see also a vertical asymptote for B it asks us what is the infinite limit as X approaches two, but from the right. Now, do you see why I'm saying from the right? Because of this piece right here that it's positive two, but it has that little minus thing. And that means I'm coming from the right. And if I come from the right, what's that limit? It's going down. Oh, sorry. I said exactly the wrong opposite thing. I think you see that's from the left. Okay, so I, I did the arrows on the, on the left, but this is two little minus thing, that's from the left. That little minus means, in, in other words, X is less than two. We're looking at the side X less than two, and we can see it keeps going down, so that's not infinity, but negative infinity. Vertical asymptote tells us, okay, it's gonna be infinity or negative infinity. Now. From the other side, this is from the right because it has a little plus there. So it's from the right, means X is gonna be greater than two. I come from the other side and it's going up and up and up and it just keeps getting as large as we wanna make that. So that gives infinity. Okay. Now I see another asymptote for D, X approaches negative one. That's the line X equals negative one. And, you know, we can see there's a vertical asymptote. I have the, I mean, I have the little dotted lines, but besides that, we should see there's a, there's a vertical asymptote. And if I, if I travel along the, the curve, I see it keeps going down. So I'm going to put negative infinity. Uh, we're supposed to state the following, the equations of the vertical asymptotes. Well, I did that as I went along here was without even noticing that was the directions. I have X equals negative three, X equals negative one, and X equals two. Those are the vertical asymptotes. So all right, vertic VA for vertical asymptote right there. Those are my three vertical asymptotes. I just labeled it right there. Probably on a test, I'd say maybe, well, it's, it's good. Yeah, maybe you could, maybe I should do it too, but I ran out of space, but for, label it somewhere, vertical asymptotes. Okay, does anybody have any questions about this problem? Are there any questions? I know it's hard to see everything because it's, I, I could not put everything all in one picture without having some, some wasted space on the sides. Um, for my answer, I just put X equals negative three comma negative one and two. Is that okay? No, you, it's, 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 it's uh, X equals, you should write X equals. I mean, you know, it's not that much extra work. So okay. X equals negative three, X equals 
negative one x equals two yeah you should okay. write it like that thank you well thank you okay we're gonna turn this off okay so the video is ending